Today we're going to analyze the North Korean Navy with the help of Google Earth. But before we do that, I would like to thank all my subscribers. I primarily looked at the East Coast. This part here. And I noticed that um, North Korea is extremely happy for submarines. So we will start looking at that first. And also one of the submarines is definitely a danger. Here on the left side, we have a SIPO class ballistic missile sub. This submarine is the only submarine they have that can shoot a, a nuclear payload. We can shoot one rocket. If we look here, we can see that the US installed TSAT radar, which covers this area. And that means that any rocket fired from North Korea can be detected and can be taken down. However, if it would be uh, fired from a ship, let's say the ship would be around here, then it cannot be detected and it can reach you very quickly. And here we have um, a ballistic missile shot from a sub, and these are the range that they can reach. Here we have three Romeo class submarines, and I will show in a little while how I know it's a Romeo class, and here's a bit of a clearer picture. And here are the torpedoes they can fire, they are steam powered torpedoes. And each ship can have 14 torpedoes or they can have 28 mines. Again, here we have a Romeo class. Now, we can see 76 meters. And here we have Sango class subs. And here we have a Sango class submarine. Uh, as you might have noticed, I have the date of the picture here and I have the location. So if anybody would like to look these things up. You can just go to these locations yourself by Google Pro Earth and you can find them. I will uh, show here how I, I do these things. Basically I, I follow the whole coastline and um, when I see something that is interesting I will leave pins so I can come back to it. Now here we have a, a dry dock. Here we have some submarines. I might change the year to see what is going on in the sub, uh, in the dry dock. I then measure this. This is roughly 76 uh, meters, which makes it a Romeo class. I will then take a picture of it and I put that later in my video. Then I will follow coast again. And here I found some uh, more Romeo class. You can see here. Here's now a dry dock with a small submarine. I think I have some mini submarines here. Yep, here are three mini submarines. And then here are three big ones and two more big ones. If I would show everything in this way, it would become an extremely long and very boring uh, video. So what I do is I just uh, take pictures if I find anything interesting and then I put it later in the video so I can boil it down to five, maybe eight minutes. I would like to show where I found the ballistic missile submarine uh, whoops, here. This is um, a submarine shipyard here, and here we have the Simfo class. It's about 65 meters. Uh, it can shoot one ballistic missile. The next thing we look at are patrol boats. All along the coast, um, we can find lots and lots of either missile boats or patrol boats. They're relatively small, between 20 and uh, 40 meters, and most of them currently are on land. We can see them laying here <coughs> and here. And we can also see landing crafts, quite a lot of them. There are plenty of places, again, just 
look it up here are the coordinates. Uh, landing crafts are there because in case you would like to invade South Korea, you need to have a landing craft that can go onto the beach there and each or landing craft can have 35 to 50 people on board. So you very quickly compute a, a few hundred soldiers on the beach. The next thing we look at are underground facilities. Here is an underground uh, facility for submarines. And here is one. And I will show you how I know it's an underground facility. Um, but before we do that, here we have some missile boats. Just have a quick look at that. You can see this camouflage here. It's not ideal. Um, and here we have another picture. It's basically a net that comes down that should cover it so that it's invisible. And here we can actually see the net. And here it is covered with trees. When you use uh, living trees, they will eventually die, so you get a color difference. I have two pictures here of underground parking for an airport. Here you can see there is a color change. When you make something on the ground, it will affect the roots of uh, the trees and plants growing there. And sometimes they get stressed. And when plants get stressed, they get red. You can see that here, they are more dry than the rest. So therefore, it's relatively easy to find a lot of underground um, parking or other facilities. Other ships they have are the Seri-1 class corvettes. And we can see them here. They're about 61 meters in length. Again, there's a date. Uh, you can check it out yourself. There are really a lot of uh, web pages that explain what kind of weapons you have on board of these ships. And I'm not going to spend time on that. I'm just identifying where they are. And if people have an interest in that, they can always check it out themselves. Here we have missile boats. Um, these white tubes here they contain missiles and i have a picture here or a drawing you can see here the missiles will shoot out of the boat they are not super effective um they've been they're originally russian they've been used in in several wars uh, india pakistan then we have the torpedoes boats here and they have quite a lot of them but most of them are on land and we have another corvette here and here we have some Soyo 3 torpedo boats, They're actually fast attack boats, but they do have a torpedo on board as well. And here we have missile boats and a very small missile boat. Here we have a picture of a typical uh, naval port. And, and this one is a little bit interesting because it uh, is affected by high tide, low tide. Obviously, it's low tide here. And here we have a sub and a small sub in the dry dock and again we have patrol boats here plenty of them i don't know if you've seen my video with regards to the north korean air force it clearly proved that that was a joke but uh, one should not come to the same conclusion with uh, all the boats being on land because in this case we have to consider that there is covid 19 and they probably pulled out a lot of boats because of that and of course, there is a problem with getting fuel, but it's a lot easier to get diesel fuel than uh, kerosene for airplanes. Also, uh, several defectors have said in interviews that Kim prefers the Navy and submarines rather than his Air Force. And I think that might have an effect on it. Now, the last two, which we haven't, if you check a list of all the uh, ships North Korea has, then we have an aircraft carrier and we have the Nanjing class frigates. This is an aircraft carrier. And the reason why it is, is because here you can land a helicopter. And here we have a frigate, which is about 100 and two meters long, I believe. They were originally built in 1973. And the last time they were seen uh, was in 2014, which this picture is from. They had four, two were decommissioned, 
and the last two haven't been seen for the last five, six years. Possibly they are in some underground facility uh, for the last five, six years, or um, maybe they have been decommissioned. It's a bit unclear. Well, as always, thank you for watching. Um, if you like these videos, then please subscribe. I'm currently working with one of my subscribers on making a video about where the elite of North Korea is living. And I'm also working on a few honey trap videos, which will be coming up soon.